if you skip this step, everything you build in your business has the potential to fall apart. Welcome back everyone. My name is Donata White and I am a content marketing expert. That means that I am on a mission to help you share your message online, simplify your life and your business and get to the good stuff. If this is your first time here, welcome, a special welcome just for you. I would love for you to hit that subscribe button down below this video so you don't miss a single one. I would also love for you to share this video because I'm about to share some essential steps that you cannot skip if you are trying to start a company that has the potential to grow to six, seven, eight figures and beyond. Let's get started. When you are trying to create a brand new company, the very first thing you need to do is to create a legal entity. I know this is not the sexiest part of building a business. Most of us just want to skip right to the social media portion, get our names out there and start talking about how amazing our new business is. But there are a few things you need to do first. And the very first one of those is creating a legal entity, whether it's an LLC, an S corp or some other kind of legal business entity. You have to legally separate yourself, the person, the human being from the business. Like I said, I know it's not the most fun part of starting a business, but it is so, so necessary to do this because if you skip this step, everything you build in your business has the potential to fall apart. Creating a separate legal entity makes you an official business in the eye of the government. It also gives you access to things like business banking, business loans. It makes it easier to create contracts with your clients and customers. It also limits your personal liability. Now I'm a lawyer, so this is something that I think about a lot, but it may not be something that you think about. Any business that makes six, seven, eight figures, there's the potential that you will eventually be sued, whether it's meritorious or not. There is the potential that when you're doing that much in revenue, your business could get sued. There are always people out there who are trying to reach into the deep pockets. So whether or not you deserve to be sued for whatever it is your business has done, there's the potential that someone could file a lawsuit against you. And if you are not separate legally from the business, that person could go after your personal assets, meaning your home, your car, your savings. Also, let's spin it to the positive for a second because I know that the whole lawsuit thing can be pretty scary, but separating yourself from the business also allows the business to be easily sold or transferred. Now, I know you may be thinking at the beginning stages that you are just trying to build up the business, but I want you to look long-term. I want you to think really, really big, dream really big, if you grow a seven or eight figure business, it may be that eventually you want to pass it on to your children or you want to sell it and retire early. Having a separate legal entity allows you to do that very, very easily. So first thing when you're starting any company, file for whatever legal business entity you want to become. This is pretty easy in most states. Again, I am a lawyer, so I filed my LLC paperwork by myself, but if you're not comfortable doing that, again, it's usually a pretty straightforward process, but if you're not comfortable doing that, find a local small business attorney in your area who can help you make sure that you are legally separate and your business has its own legal existence. Second thing you need to do is grab your domain name. I can't imagine a more frustrating scenario than filing your paperwork to become a legal business and then the domain name not being available. So as soon as you file your paperwork, grab the domain that you want. That way you have it on hand when your paperwork is approved and you can get started right away building out the website for your brand new business. Step three, clarify your offerings. Be very, very clear about what your mission is as a company, what problems you are solving for people and how you're going to do it. What products and services will you be offering as a business? This is before you start publicly announcing that you have a business. I know that social media is the fun part. Listen, I'm a content marketing expert. I am on social media constantly. It's my favorite thing about business. That's why I started my business in the first place. But before you get on social media, you have to understand that it's just a way to market what you offer. So before you do the social media thing, you have to figure out what you are offering people and how you are going to solve their problems. So clarify what products and services your business is actually going to be 
offering to help your clients and customers. Think of it this way, your customers can't become customers if there's no products or services to buy. So before you start telling people all about what you do, make sure you have some sort of idea of what you're gonna be offering and any pricing or packages. That way when somebody inevitably comes and asks you what your business does, you have something to tell them and something to offer them so that you can convert them into a customer right away. Now I've got two more tips for you, but before we move on, I've gotta know, was this a light bulb moment for you? Because I know it was for me when I started my business. If this was a light bulb moment for you, leave the word light bulb down in a comment below. Step number four, build your website. You have to have your own little corner of the internet outside of social media. Again, all of these things happen before you even touch social media. And I could do a whole video sharing about why you have to have a website before you start on social media. If you wanna see that video, let me know in a comment down below. But suffice it to say, the next thing you need to do is build your website. Once you have your domain and you've clarified what you're going to be offering, you can create a very simple website that just has a contact form and what you offer, so that way you have somewhere to send people when they want to work with you. You have to have somewhere to send people when they ask about your business, and it cannot be a social media profile. Remember when Instagram and Facebook went down a couple weeks ago? Yeah, imagine if that happened and that was the entirety of your business. There are so many reasons you have to have your own website, so do this before you even touch social media. Just put up a simple page or a simple contact form with a little bit of information about what you do so that way when someone asks about your business, you can send them to your website to get more information. My very last tip for starting your own company is that you have to get your mind right. My business coach likes to say that success starts between the ears and she is so right. Listen, you are starting a real business, a real company. This is no longer a side hustle. We are not like a kid who is babysitting or mowing lawns for a little extra cash anymore. We are not thinking small. What we need to do is get into the habit of thinking about building this six, seven, eight figure business that could eventually be purchased if we wanna retire early or pass down onto our children or provide the financial freedom that we want. We have to get our minds right if we're going to be positioning ourselves to be the CEO of a real live company. Like I said, this is not a side hustle anymore. You're not someone's employee anymore. You are a real business owner and we have to start making real business moves and real business decisions. And I wanna point out that your success in this business is not just about you anymore. Think about the legacy you'll leave for your children. Think about all of the employees you could potentially hire and change their lives by providing them with their own financial freedom, a wonderful place to work, and an actual mission that gives them purpose. This success in this business is not just about you. It's about impacting the lives of thousands or millions of people and the people who are directly around you. Think about all the good you can do in the world with the weight and strength of a six, seven, or eight figure business behind you. This is going to take some getting used to, but I want you to get in the habit of imagining how big and impactful your business can be, not only for you and your family, but also for the world around you. So those are the five things you must do when you are starting a real live business. Now, this is all stuff you need to do before you touch social media. And that is saying something because again, I'm a content marketing expert. I love social media. So if I'm telling you to do these things before you even touch social, take it seriously. Also, if you want more business and content marketing tips like these, check out the Creative Content Lab. It's my online membership where I share my best strategies, tips, techniques, and support for those of you who are building a legacy online. What'd you think about this video? Give it a thumbs up if you liked it and let me know below. Are you so super psyched about your brand new business? Tell me all about it down below. Tell me what you do, what you're starting, and what impact you are hoping it has on you and the world around you. I can't wait to see you in the next video.